Welcome students to chemistry concept and now we are going to discuss about two highly confusing terms reduction potential and reducing power actually these are two opposite things anything which has high reduction potential will have low reducing power why because reduction potential is tendency of any element to undergo reduction itself while reducing power is the tendency of the element to reduce others okay that means reduction potential is tendency to accept electrons while reducing power is tendency to lose electrons and obviously these two are opposite things so anything which has high reduction potential will have low reducing power so reduction potential and reducing power are the two opposite thing in fact any element which has high reduction potential will have high oxidizing power okay so on the basis of that let's try to solve this problem given uh, and this is a problem from ncert textbook electrochemistry and also from the redox reaction the, this question is common in for 11th and 12th both in 11th it is in redox reaction and in 12th it comes under electrochemistry now these are the standard electrode potential values given and we have to arrange these elements in increasing order of reducing power and we have just seen that again and these are reduction potential values why because k positive is converting into k that means it is getting reduced and the value is minus 2.93 volt so as we have seen greater the reduction potential lower would be the reducing power so we can see here that silver has highest reduction potential so it will have least reducing power so we arrange them like this silver and after silver comes yes mercury after mercury uh, we get chromium after chromium comes yes magnesium and potassium which has lowest reduction potential will have highest reducing power so this is the order i hope things were clear to you if not you can always ask in our comment section please don't forget to give your feedback like subscribe and share this video stay tuned thank you